How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. Um, right as I'm cleaning up this area, I feel like I should also tell you about the scout rifle that I just got in the Crystal Size DLC that I just dropped the other day for Destiny 2. And the scout rifle is called the Garden Prodigy Pro Pro Progeny 1. It's a scout rifle you get for uh, forging weapons in Curse of Osiris. Uh, if, you want, if you're curious, obviously it's got rifle, you think automatically, how does it compare to the Mida? Well, there you go, there's a stat change right there. So this is a high impact scout rifle, so then it's, essentially it's going to be much better at longer ranges. It has better impact, much better range in the Mida, but you can see that the stability, handling, and reload speeds are much, much lower. And so, it, but the thing is though, you can also cut into that reload time with the uh, trait on the Prodigy is uh, Outlaw. So if you get a precision kill, it, you get Outlaw, which greatly reduces your reload speed to shorter than the Mida. But the thing is you gotta get a, uh, you know, head, uh, precision headshot kill. I will mainly do this review for uh, PvP focused. Uh, just because really in PvE, you can run with whatever you want. Just have fun with the game, you know what I mean. So yeah, with the different perks on it, you have extended barrel, which obviously gives it extended range, but uh, weaker stability and, ha and handling. You have polygonal rifling, which uh, increases the stability. And you have arrowhead break, which uh, decreases the stability and increases the handling, which is kind of whatever. I like to run with polygonal rif rifling since it is a much higher impact scout rifle. It's gonna require a lot more uh, recoil management. And playing on console, that's nice so great. Uh, if you're playing on PC, I'd probably go with the extended barrel, so you have the extended, you have the uh, enhanced recoil management uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, over here in the second slot, we have tactical mag, which decreases range, increases stability, inc and uh, sorry, decreases range, better stability, better reload time, and increases the magazine up just by one to 14. So. You get one extra shot. Whoop de freaking do. I like using steady rounds because again I'm playing on console. Uh, it, what this does is it greatly increases stability and slightly decreased range. Recoil is the biggest issue when it comes to handling weapons on console. And also we have armored piercing rounds which is also a really good one to use. I've been kind of flipping back and forth between these two right here. Uh, if I'm playing PvE I'll be using armored piercing rounds. If I'm playing PvP I'll probably switch over to steady rounds. Uh, just because uh, recoil management is much more important. And also, like I said, you got Outlaw, which in which uh, precision kills greatly decrease the reload speed. It makes it super fast to reload, uh, a little bit shorter than the Mida. Now, you're probably wondering, how does this per perform in PvP? Well, uh, you'll be coming across a lot of Midas, because Mida is, the, well, the weapon to use right now. And uh, this weapon has a 25% slower rate of fire compared to the Mida. And so you'll be coming across a lot of times that you'll be kind of getting outshot, outperformed, especially since the Mida has high caliber rounds, which knocks up your, uh, gives you extra flinch, and so then you're, you have high, even higher recoil. Uh, it's very hard to, to combat this this weapon. Uh, I would suggest staying in much more uh, stationary, far back positions. You cannot rush with the uh, uh, progeny at all. You have to stay back, pick off guys, almost like a sniper rifle. But, uh, you know, with obviously being able to hit, get multiple shots. I was getting a 52 on the head, and I think 37 on the body when it came to this weapon as well. Uh, overall, my review of this gun, I would probably give it a, a B minus. That's if that, I'd probably say. It's um, the way the maps are designed in Destiny 2, since it's 4v4, they have smaller maps. Though there's not very many line, lines of sight that were warrant a long range scout rifle. Uh, most of the times when any time you can probably use this scout rifle you probably should be using a sniper rifle instead be a little bit more effective and get a little bit better aim. Uh, most of the maps in this game are designed for short mid-range not and there's like a handful maybe one or two long lines of sight that could just be useful. I would suggest not using this for PvP and uh, just taking it as a PvE weapon just for fun just to mix things up a bit. But that's my uh, thoughts on this weapon. If you guys want to see more content like this, please make sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know if you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you guys want to have any weapons you want to see me review in Destiny 2. Uh, if you're new to the channel you want to see some more awesome content like this, tap the subscribe button for more awesomeness. And we'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.